welcome to vlogmas i didn't vlog yesterday but i say hi to pepper hi pepper <laughs> i didn't vlog yesterday um because we literally did nothing so i didn't want to force content out there i'm pretty sure nobody wants to watch anybody else do literally nothing at home so here we are today semi fun day i would say because i have my hair appointment today oops always is still sleeping in bed she woke up so early and i could tell she was exhausted so i'm like girl why are you waking up so early go to bed <laughs> but i have my hair appointment today and honestly going in i don't really know like i, I changed my mind so much when it comes to my hair between colors lengths whatever naturally though this is my natural hair i took out my tapins and i have very fine thin hair so much fun you guys but this is not my natural color my natural color is more of a very dirty sandy blonde you can see at the roots it grew out quite a bit i haven't been to the salon right there that's my natural color and i'm thinking to lighten it up i've had this darker color which i actually really love for quite a while now i've had like darker hair and i do love this color but like i said i always change my mind so i'm thinking to lighten it up a bit and you gotta i gotta do this in phases because my hair is so much darker now it's gonna take some time to get it to as light as i want it to be but for now um, so today I'm probably just going to do like all over baby lights or something. I don't know. I'll talk to Julie and we'll see. I had really short hair in January and I liked it because I feel like short hair suits me the best. Just me plus my hair type. I feel like short hair is so great for finer, thinner hair because once it starts to grow out, it can get kind of stringy looking. And so I'm just getting ready. I'm going to do some, I'm wearing my lounge sweatshirt again, this time with a turtleneck because it is freezing cold outside by the way i mentioned in my previous vlog anna luisa still has their sale check them out this is not from anna luisa this is from amazon and i was so excited to find it because it's like a dupe for the cartier love ring and as soon as it came in i went to go try to link it in my instagram stories and it says it's unavailable so oh well it is what it is i would say it's a very good dupe though Obviously, it's um, you know, it's not Cartier because Cartier will have the uh, the inside will say the logo and everything. This one does not, so it's not pretending to be. But I would say it's pretty similar compared to other ones that I have seen, and it's not available. So I don't know what happened to the seller on Amazon. I don't know where you went. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Who remembers that song? I miss you so. Looking back, you always think like, oh, that song just came out, and then you realize that was like ten years ago. It's crazy, crazy. But so. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade 6. And this is a gorgeous foundation. I can't believe I haven't tried it before. I always thought for some reason that it was super drying. Amazing. Amazing foundation. It does have very light coverage. It's not gonna, it's not full coverage by any means, but it's just so such a beautiful finish. Sits beautifully on, on dry skin like I have. By the way, I am wearing Easy Tension Lashes. These are their volume in the pink box it's like a pink mauve box and i love these and i stacked i actually stacked them they are volume lash but i stacked two on the outer corner and it's still there woke up in the morning and it's still there and then later today we have a my kids have a birthday party to go to which i don't know we're still at the stage where we us moms go as well so i'll be there with my friends hanging out it's, so we're going to do that later today around 4.30 and that's kind of the plan for today. This is the outcome, this is the makeup, gotta go start the car because it's freezing outside, we'll let that warm up and then I'll see you guys, my OTD I'm going to wear white sweatpants with a trench, some sneakers. I follow Styled by Florencia, I don't know if anybody follows her and she has some great OOTD inspo picks so sometimes i'll save something like what i want to wear and then she posted this to her stories the other day this hailey bieber one so i'm thinking that's my outfit inspo right there with the black bag some black sunnies i don't know where my black sunnies are they're somewhere all right i gotta get going it is 8 27 but i found my sunglasses and i'd say this is pretty spot on with the outfit inspo got my black bag 
and the black shade accessories to kind of like tie things together and then super comfy. This is an off-white, but I wore the white turtleneck and it does have white letters, so it kind of balances out with the camel coat that I've had from Misguided, sneakers Misguided. These are actually from Amazon, these white joggers. And then this is the loungewear top. And I'll link this back because I think it's amazing. It takes two weeks to come in, but it's definitely worth it. And then this is the final makeup look, but off I go to do something to this hair. But I think I'm gonna stop by Dunkin' Donuts first, even though we have an amazing coffee machine. I like having like a cup of coffee with there with me and I don't have any to-go cups. I definitely gotta invest in some. Thank you too, Duncan, how can I help you? Hi, can I just have a small hot holiday blend coffee with cream? Absolutely. And that would be all. All right, 256. Thank you. You're welcome. And she is blonde and short. Back to back to blonde pretty much. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside what I thought I'd show in the car because it has really good natural light. It lightened up so much. I was worried that you know my hair wouldn't be able to be. I mean that is so much lighter. Look at this. I am obsessed with the color. I feel like Julie always kills it and it's always a great time with her. I love 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 this color. Can't believe that I have blonde hair now. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to but back to blonde. It really lightened up a lot in one session. That's crazy. I ended up washing my hair and figured I would show how I style my short, thin, fine hair in this video since it's kind of like a hair vlog of sorts. And I'm gonna be using this heat tool here. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes before I took a shower and now I don't care. It's just the clothes. So, moving on. But I'm gonna be using the Done Hair Styler here. It's kind of like a Dyson dupe of sorts, but like a cheap, cheap in terms of quality as well. This thing broke off so now it doesn't secure all the way. And I don't think they sell it anymore, but I am looking to buy. This was my favorite tool out of all of the attachments that I had. I had a round brush, this, and two of the curling ones. I did not like the curling ones at all, so I'm glad I got to try it, this out because I don't think I would buy Dyson. I don't know, I just don't like curling my hair like that. If you have really long, luscious hair, then I feel like it would look amazing because you kind of get like that bombshell look. But for my short, fine, thin hair, I did not like it. But I do love this attachment here, so I... They sell them separately on Amazon. Um, it's like a heated brush of sorts, very similar to this. So I'm gonna try to find one on Amazon that I like and test it out. The products that I use in my hair kind of changes. I love trying out new things, and whether I have colored hair, darker hair, whatever I'll use. Right now, I love the Orbe line, and I absolutely love this Maximista spray. Maximista spray, and it basically works like an all-in-one. It has heat protectant in it, it adds a little bit of grit, it adds a little bit of volume, and it definitely helps to thicken or at least make it look like your hair is a little bit thicker. So thicken the hair strands and you just spray it all over damp hair. You don't wanna spray too much because then your hair can get a little bit too textured, if you know what I mean. Like, you know how sometimes you overdo it with the products? But enough so that you have product in your hair. This product has basically replaced my root lifter and my heat protectant. So it's kind of like an all-in-one. It is expensive, but a little bit goes a long way. I've been using it for a few months now, and I just used up half of it. Probably less than half since this part is skinnier. So I do think it's worth the investment if you have fine thin hair. Try it out. I love their shampoo. I use the color line. The, it's like a reddish burgundy red bottle. And I have been loving it. I love how it smells. They have little trial sizes that you can try just to try it out. But now for the styling, I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to do my bangs first and then just kind of like brush through at the root you'll see This is the after. This is just kind of like what works for me. If you have a short, fine, thin hair, I feel like this is a great way to add bounce and volume to your hair. So using, this is probably my favorite attachment that I've used out of even using a hair dryer and round brush. I've tried that. I feel like this just gives me the results that I want. So what I'll do is I grab section by section and lift the root 
and then brush it as if it was a round brush throughout the whole entire head. You can curl it later if you want. And then here in the front, because the front pieces are a little bit shorter, I like to kind of go like this. I'm gonna have to do this with a straightener because this doesn't get uh, give off enough heat. So I am gonna have to go through with a straightener, but just kind of curl it the other way so that it gives this very nice full curtain drapey effect of sorts. And I don't know, this is just kind of like my favorite way when I do have, even if I don't have, even if I have medium length hair, this attachment has just been my favorite. So they do sell similar type situations on Amazon. I'm gonna have to go through and actually find one for myself because this one's falling apart. It works, but also this one's not the best because it doesn't really have heat settings. It just has like one super hot setting, but check out Amazon if you're looking for that. I just think this is such a great attachment to give you that bounce. It gives you like a blowout type effect. I definitely prefer this to a round brush for sure. But yeah, I don't know. It's very nice and light. And then this Maximista spray, I'm telling you, it is revolutionary because it basically works as a root lifter. It adds a little bit of grit so that my hair is not too fine and thin or too silky feeling. Usually if it's too silky, it kind of like falls flat. This basically adds a little bit of volume. You can go through with a dry shampoo. Sometimes I'll do a dry shampoo just to add more of like a grit to it or you can just go in with a texture spray, a hairspray, a very light hairspray. You don't want to use products that are too heavy if you have fine thin hair because they're just gonna, whatever you just did, they're just gonna weigh it down. And I honestly think I'm just gonna finish the vlog here because I just want to get it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. Back to blonde. It's not like super, super blonde. It's gonna take me some time to get to like the really blonde look, but I like this. It's like a lived in blonde with different types of, like it has a great dimension in my opinion. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys tomorrow.